In today's video, I'll be showing you three ways that you can get high quality backlinks for any niche using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. The first method is to use ChatGPT to help you find guest post opportunities. If you're unfamiliar with what exactly a guest post is, essentially it's when a website allows you to write a piece of content or an article in which you're able to feature your own website in that article. It's a win-win for both the website and yourself because websites need content, you provide the content and in return you get a backlink to your website. The only issue with this is that sometimes it's difficult to find which websites actually allow you to do guest posts and you always want to find relevant and authoritative websites that's related to your niche. So you can use ChatGPT to help you find these websites. I've used the plugin mode. I'm using WebPilot, and that's the plugin on the GPT-4 um, version of ChatGPT. And this is the prompt that I've used. I've told the AI that my website is www.wordrocket.ai. It's in the AI, SEO, and technology niche. Please help me find high quality, relevant websites that accept guest posts or has a right for us page. And it was able to go out and browse the web using the WebPilot plugin and we got a list of websites that accept guest posts within our niche. And some of these are resources that have different websites that allow guest posts. And some of these are websites that we can directly um, guest post or do a write for us post. So, for example, LinkHub, this gives us a list of 150 tech blogs that accept guest posts. So we can go ahead, go through these. We can click on any one of these. And as you can see here, um, we can scroll through that website and find out exactly where they um, include a right for us page. And a tip is if you're using any of those websites, you can't find out exactly if they provide guest posts. You can enter that URL into ChatGPT and ask it, does this website have a guest post page or a right for us page? And as you can see, it was able to direct us to that specific page. And if we scroll down, we can see exactly where we can become a contributor for that website. So. The first method is by using ChatGPT to find high quality and relevant um, websites within your niche by using this prompt and also enabling the plugin mode. And again, as you can see here, we have a variety of different websites that we can choose from AI guest posts. I think this is a service proper content. This lists 22 best sites for guest posting. So again, we can go through this and we can find which websites are more most relevant to our website and find a website that we can do a guest post for and then get a link back to our website. And if you want more websites, just ask it to give me more. And again, you'll be able to get more um, websites that you can choose from. So for example, let's click on this one and we have a write for us page. And this um, tells us exactly what we need to do if we would like to get a guest post on this specific website. So this is a very, very effective method because you're providing value for that company or for that website. You're providing them with an in-depth article at no charge. And in return, you're able to get some backlinks back to your website and you can choose wherever you want to include those links mostly, or you can just get a backlink back to your um, homepage. That is the first method that you can use to help you get backlinks using ChatGPT. So once you've found the guest post opportunities using ChatGPT, you can then use ChatGPT again to help you write the actual guest post or you can use ChatGPT to help you find topics that you can write about for that specific website. So for example, let's go back to the website that we found, which is digitalconnectmag.com. And we see here that it has a lot of information about write for us. And honestly, I don't really like reading through a lot of information. Um, it just kind of takes a lot of time. So the first thing in which we can do is we can copy all of this content, head back over to ChatGPT, and then I'm gonna paste this into ChatGPT, I'm going to ask it to summarize how to get a guest post on this site. So essentially, it's going to summarize all of that information here for us. So now that we have a good idea as to what this website is looking for, I've went ahead and pasted in the website URL and I've asked ChatGPT using the web pilot mode to scrape this website um, blog post content and suggest five relevant and catchy and informative blog post topics that we could write about. So what it's going to do here, it's going to scrape that website, see what they've written about, and then give us some recommendations. So this allows us again to increase the likeliness that will actually get accepted for this guest post because we're writing on a topic that this website is already interested in or the audience is already interested in. Okay, so the role of SEO and e-commerce, the future of business, securing your digital life, top tips for online security, the evolution of digital marketing emerging trends in cloud hosting. So these are all really, really good. Probably the one that sticks out the most is emerging trends in cloud hosting because this is kind of a new and unique topic and that's something that, that would probably capture the attention of them. So let's choose this. Now that we have a topic, we can then use ChatGPT to write the full article for us. Now I've already done a couple of videos where I show you how to write articles, specifically guest posts. 
using ChatGPT. So if you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link for that video in the description below this video. And when you're writing the content, you also want to let ChatGPT know that you need to keep um, these guidelines in mind. So you need to make sure the formatting is to whatever they would like it to be, the word count images and, and things of that nature or whatever the tone or the audience is. You want to make sure that you're capturing all of that information and telling a uh, chat to include that information when it's writing the content so that you're writing something that's catered for that specific website. Another way in which you can get more information that you can feed into ChatGPT is by copying one of their popular or one of their more recent blog posts. It can be around that topic and then asking ChatGPT to extract the main writing style, intended audience format and tone. Uh, from that website or that blog post so that you can get more ideas as to what type of writing are they writing and, and what type of audience they're going after. So once you have that information, again, you can feed that into ChatGPT in addition to the guidelines that you got from guest posting so that you're writing a much more catered article and this drastically increases the likeliness that you'll actually get accepted when doing a blog post. So that was the second method. The third method is to use ChatGPT to help you create link bait articles or content. If you're unfamiliar with what exactly link bait content is, it's a piece of content that you create that's specific to your niche that will entice other websites to want to link to. So for example, it could be um, data within your specific industry that's not readily available, but you put all of that information into a bar chart or a pie chart. And because it's a resource within your niche, people will link to that when they're referring to information within your niche. So these are things that take a little bit more time to do, but they allow you to get links from high authoritative websites because you're the one that went out to create that piece of content. Using ChatGPT plugins will make that task much easier. I've activated diagrams and diagr.am um, so that we can then feed information and create very visually appealing diagrams and paste that onto our websites and have that as a link bait a piece of content on our websites that will allow us to get more backlinks. Let's say, for example, I'm in the cloud computing niche. I would search up cloud computing and then stats or find a website that has some stats about um, the specific niche that I'm in. And then what I would do is I would go to the bottom here. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to copy all of this stats. And it's good because we're using GPT-4, so we have a very large window, so we can copy all of this and should have no problem. I'm turning that into a chart. So now let's go ahead and paste that content into ChatGPT. So I've told it to create a visually appealing and informative chart using the information above for cloud computing stats. So let's go ahead and run this and see what type of output we're able to get back. So here's the bar chart in which we're able to get back. And as you can see, it's very beautifully done and it was able to take all of that information and include the following data. So this is very, very impressive by this ChatGPT plugin. If you wanted to see the full chart, we can click here. And as you can see, you have a very beautiful, very intuitive um, chart that was created here. And if you go to any of the different colors, it will tell you exactly what that means on the right hand side here. So this is very, very intuitive, very cool to use. And then all you have to do now is you can get the HTML code or the CSS code for this specific chart. And then you can paste that into your website. And now you have a beautiful chart on your website about specific information about your niche. So this will allow you to be able to get much more passive links because people will see this information on Google. And um, because it's visually appealing, uh, they would want to link back to this onto their website. So this makes it very, very easy for you to go out for you to get information or data. And then you can ask it to create a bar chart, you can ask it to create a pie chart or any type of graph that you have in mind for your niche. And again, you can feed all of that information into chat GPT. Uh, this would take you hours to do uh, previously. But again, with AI and with chat GPT, it makes it very, very easy for you to create these visually appealing charts. So those are my three methods that you can use to help you get more high quality and authoritative backlinks using ChatGPT. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like the best. Let me know if you're going to try this out and let me know if you are running into any issues with any one of these methods. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something new and you're able to implement these strategies into your online website. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.